Hello, George Romanich here. In my previous video, I introduced this problem. We are going to tackle part C of this problem, and that's to find the total reduction of the mass of this tank once the air leaked out. So we have our tank that initially valve was closed and the pressure was 200 atmospheres and uh, it's 15 liter tank and temperature was 20 degrees celsius that's in condition one and then in condition two after we accidentally opened the valve and then again closed it the pressure dropped to 150 atmospheres but of course the volume of the tank is the same and temperature stayed unchanged. In part A and part B of this problem, we calculated the number of atoms that escaped during this process. But now we are interested to find how lighter is tank after this gas escaped. We started last time with the equation of state for an ideal gas in the form PV is equal nkt, where p is pressure in pascals, v is volume in cubic meters, n is number of atoms in this volume v, k is Boltzmann constant, and t is absolute temperature. But for this problem, where we need to find the mass deficit, we will use equation of state in the form pv is equal small n, r star t. How do you get from here to here? Well, I have entire video explaining that. For example, you will recall that this universal gas constant that is equal 8.3145 joule per mole per Kelvin is simply equal Na times K where K is Boltzmann constant, and Na, what is Na? Well, that's Avogadro's number, 6.022, and so on, times 10 to power 23 of anything. And that's number of something in one mole. That's how we define mole of atoms. This many atoms makes one mole. This many cats makes one mole of cats. This many people makes one mole of people. And consequently, this little n is number of moles of a gas in this volume V. If we now apply this equation of state for these two conditions, then I will have that P1, V1, is equal N1, R star, T1. In condition 2, I will have that pressure P2, that is now 150 atmospheres, is the same volume V1, that is unchanged, equals N2, number of moles N2, because certain number of moles escaped when we opened the valve, R star, this universal gas constant, T1, because temperature is unchanged. From here, we see that N1 minus N2, if we subtract these equations, is equal V1 over R star T1, P1 minus P2. But then again, from my video on the equation of state, you know that number of moles can be expressed as mass of the gas divided by the molar mass, capital M, where molar mass, capital M, is clearly you can see that units are kilogram per mole and molar mass tells us how many kilograms of gas is in one mole of that gas. Again, if this is not something that you are familiar with, well, check my video on the equation of state in this form. Now, in air, we have nitrogen, we have oxygen, and we have argon. And they are in percentages of 78%, 21%, and less than 1%, but for the purpose of this video, I'll just say 1%. And this is something we discussed in my previous video. Now, to find this molar mass, M, 
I need atomic mass of these molecules or atoms. What is atomic mass? Basically, that's the mass you see in the periodic system of elements that Mendele put together. So you see, for example, nitrogen has seven protons and seven neutrons, and that's the most naturally occurring isotope of nitrogen, but we have N2, so atomic number would be approximately 28. It's really different because it's 14.01 plus 14.01, namely atomic mass that here I give in grams per mole, atomic mass is really not number of protons plus number of neutrons, but it's quite similar for uh, many elements, such as, for example, nitrogen N2. Oxygen has eight protons, eight neutrons in the nucleus, and there are two of these, so I get that approximately atomic mass is 32. And approximately atomic mass for argon is 40. Now, given that I know their relative percentages, I can calculate readily that the molar mass M of air is equal. Relative percentage of nitrogen is 0 0.78 times molar mass of nitrogen, that's 28 plus. Relative percentage of oxygen is 0 0.21 times its mass, 32 plus relative percentage of argon is 0 0.01 times its mass is 40. So if you calculate all these, you will get that the molar mass of air is 28.97 grams per mole. Or this would further be equal 28.97 times 10 to power negative 3 kilograms per mole. Now if we go back to this equation over here and I combine that with this expression over here, you can see that I can substitute instead of N this M over capital M and I will get that M2 minus M1 is equal capital M V1 divided by R star T1, P1 minus P2. In my uh, two videos before this one, I converted these liters to cubic meters, Celsius to Kelvin, and I also converted pressures from atmospheres to Pascals. So if you plug in these numbers in proper SI units, you will get that this difference, M2 minus M1, which could be delta M, for example, is equal about 0 0.9 kilograms. So this tank gets almost one kilogram lighter when the air escapes from 200 atmospheres to 150 atmospheres. Again, something we cannot visualize easy, but kinetic theory of gases and the beauties of physics and atmospheric sciences help us to grasp this macroscopic number by knowing how air microscopically behaves under the assumption of ideal gas law.